Hi, this is the demo for IAM. In this demo, you will learn how to use the single sign-on function with IAM on the AD server, the Microsoft AD server. First, you need to have um, AD server first and some domain user. On the IAM, we need to have some SSO setting first. Enable the Active Directory SSO with a shared key, 123. Click OK. And we need to have some users. The username is same as the AD users, same for O1 and same for O2. The password is on with the LDAP authentication. It means the username is on the server, on the AD server. Before that, we need to have, um, we need to associate the user with IAM and the AD server. So we need to create the authentication server link first. LDAP. The AD server IP is one one five. The server username must is must the administrator with the full domain name. Okay, let's check if this is work. Okay, it works. If not works, there will not have the user list. Now we have the user, the link, and the SSO setting. Now we need to go to the AD server. Now we need to have some configuration on the AD server. Before that, we need to have these two files from Sanford. This is the script for the users when they are logged in and logged out on of the domain. Now, we need to edit the group policy first. In the user configuration and Windows setting, scripts log on and click the show files copy the login files here and browse the file with these parameters these parameters we need to and enter the IP of the IAM, the SSO sign, the single sign-on port, and the share keys, 123. Okay. Enter this, such as the um, login. Okay. 
Now we need to save the policy and upgrade the policy. That's okay. Let's try to the user. First, we log on with without any domain. You can see you need authenticate before you access the internet. We click cancel and log out and try to log on as the domain user. Same for O1. Now, before that, we can see the user is online now, on the online user. And actually, we can access the internet now. Okay, that's all. Thanks for seeing.